All right, if you haven't watched my video on external mixers uh, and the Tiny SA, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, that'll give you an idea of one use for external mixers. Uh, here's the second use for external mixers. And this one, we're going to use an external mixer using the high and low channels as we did before. And uh, we know that the target IF is always uh, 433.9. And in that last video, I showed you how to set that as a constant and everything. Um, and the LO is going to sweep something higher. So it's going to take the incoming signals and subtract them from these signals. So these minus these equals that. So this goes between 0 and 350 megahertz. Okay. Well, if we put that into a mixer, so if we, if we set the uh, LO output, uh, and I'll show you how to do that, the LO comes out the high connector. If we mix that with a uh, 433.9 uh, constant fixed frequency, then we can take these frequencies and subtract them from this fixed 433.9, and the output will be a number between 0 and 350. So this is a tracking generator. As we sweep, we generate, uh, we generate a signal that's exactly the frequency that we're going to be measuring. So this is how you do a tracking generator. Um, it does require you to have a, a piece of equipment that can generate 433.9 megahertz. And so you need two pieces of equipment now. You need, you need the uh, external mixer and you need some type of external source. All right. And so let's hook this up and see if it works. So uh, here we go. Uh, we are sweeping. There's still a little bit of, still a little bit of glare. There we go. Um, so we're sweeping a 70 megahertz filter. We're centered at 70 megahertz, and we're spanning uh, 20 uh, 20 megahertz. It's a plus and minus four megahertz uh, filter, and it all seems to be working well. Um, and I haven't done anything, so I still recommend you do two things: uh, go into the expert config. Uh, and click on the LO box. You'll see it got just got bigger. When I switched it off, it got smaller. When I switched it on, it got bigger. So in this particular case, uh, it actually works a little bit better in the off, but we'll leave it on. Uh, it gives us a little bit bigger uh, dynamic range. And the other thing you want to do is to make sure the uh, IF frequency doesn't move automatically. We're going to set it to a fixed 433.9 megahertz so that will keep the IF frequency constant and you can see it calmed down it was very very jittery before and now it's calmed down and it's nice and smooth so um, you want to do those two things turn the LO on and uh, turn the uh, IF frequency to a fixed 433.9 and uh, yeah there we are we're actually sweeping a filter with a tracking generator um, we could go to the frequency span, 50 megahertz, and yeah, there's our filter. Uh, so it's uh, it's cool. Uh, it does require, like I said, it does require a couple things. It requires you to have a uh, have a mixer. Uh, they're not they're not too bad used. Uh, I think new. They're well. You could probably build one cheap cheaper than you can buy them. Uh, you can buy little uh, little tiny mixers for a dollar on eBay, <laughs> so you could just build your own. And then you'll need to find some way of generating 433.9. I have some ideas for that. There's a lot of remote controls and stuff that operate on that frequency, so you should be able to uh, cobble something together, and I'll try to do that in a future video. I have some things on uh, on order on eBay, so they might take a while to get here, but try to put together uh, try to put together a fixed unit.